Hello and welcome. In this video, I'll show you how to separate your classes into a header file and an implementation file. In this file called main.cpp, I have a monster class. It is an oversimplified representation of a monster in some game. The class has a single member variable called mhp, a constructor which sets the monster's initial HP, a getter method which returns the current HP, and a take damage method which reduces the monster's HP. For very small projects, it can be convenient to implement classes like this. But for anything non-trivial, it's much better to keep classes in their own separate files. So let's get rid of this monster class and re-implement it using a header file and an implementation file. If you are using Visual Studio, go to the Solution Explorer, right-click on your project, then Add, New Item. Here you can create both a header file and an implementation file. Or you can simply choose C++ class, which will create both. I'll choose the latter and set the name to Monster. Then this dialog shows up with some extra options. I'm fine with the defaults, so I'll just click OK. Visual Studio has now added two new files to the project, monster.h, which is known as a header file, and monster.cpp, which we call the implementation file. The idea is that the header file only contains declarations for the class. You can think of it like a class skeleton. The actual implementation of the class, the method definitions, go in the implementation file. This will make sense in a minute. We start working in the header file, which is already open. The first line says pragma once. This is a preprocessor directive that prevents the file from being included multiple times in a single compilation. If you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. Just don't delete this line. Next, we have our monster class. I'll start by adding the mhp member variable. It should be private and have type int. Next, we will declare the class methods. They should all be public. We start with the constructor. It has no return type and it takes the monster's initial HP as argument. We do not implement the constructor here, so instead of adding the body, we just put a semicolon. The actual implementation goes in the implementation file. Similarly for the getHP method, we only write the declaration, not the implementation. And same thing for take damage. That's it for the header file. It now contains a complete skeleton for our class. Note that there are some green squigglies under each method. That's simply because we haven't implemented them yet. So now let's open the implementation file. It contains one line of code already, which simply includes monster.h. To implement monster's constructor, we write monster colon colon, followed by the constructor's signature. And then the implementation. For this example, we just set mhp to hp. The monster colon colon says that the constructor belongs to the monster class. And note that we can access mhp, which is a private member variable of the monster class. Next, we have the getHP method. It returns an int, and we have to write the return type first. So it's int, and then monster colon colon, followed by the name. The only thing this method does is return mhp. 
Finally, we have take damage. It returns void. And it takes an int amount. In the body, we subtract amount from MHP. And then I'll make sure that MHP does not go below zero. Our class is now done. Let's go back to main and try it out. If we attempt to create a monster in the main function, we get an error. That's because it doesn't know what monster is. We have to include the header file like this. Now the error is gone. Note that we should not include the implementation file, only the header. I'll also include IO stream so we can print something to the terminal. Why did I use quotation marks for our monster header and angled brackets for the IO stream header? When you want to include a header you have written yourself, use quotation marks. For system headers like IO stream or vector, you should use angled brackets instead. Now let's try to call monsters methods and see if it works. I'll deal 50 damage to it. And then print its HP. If we run the program, we see monster HP 50. Perfect. I hope this video helps you understand how to separate your classes into a header file and an implementation file. This is the way to go for any non-trivial project. Thank you for watching.